room in the separate file. Uh, yes, uh, all of this can be placed in, in separate files. For example, class house could be declared in house.h, yeah. right? A uh, room can be declared in, in room.h. And all I would have to do is to say include room.h, include house.h, and everything ev everything can, can be placed in, in separate files. All of these uh, uh, class uh, declarations. Um, and of course, we have this main CPP file. Okay, so with this in mind, what I would like to say is that um, what happens in reality that um, this is basically a design time diagram, right? This has nothing to do with runtime. It basically says, look, um, uh, this is the two classes that we're, we're about to use in our application. One is called a room, okay? And it has this area, right? And it has a constructor and get area. And we also have a class name house, and it has a pointer to an existing room object. And this type of relationship, okay, this type of relationship between classes is called association, okay? Association. So this is the weakest type of relationship. Basically, we say that we have two classes, which we can draw as two boxes, and make this connection between them and specify the arrow who has access to who. Obviously, by the time both house and room successfully being constructed, house has access to the room. Not, not the opposite way, right? So not the opposite way. A room has no clue. Uh, in its own internal implementation, which objects actually can access it or being made uh, part of it. So this is type. Uh, this type of relationship is association. Now let me make some changes here. Perhaps I could. Uh, I, I I may decide that. Wait a minute. Um, maybe it's too complicated for me to have this pointer and remember to pass the address of the room to this house class. Maybe I can just simply say that room is part of the house, room, like this, right? Then, of course, um, maybe what I need to do uh, in terms of what kind of changes do I need and by the way, you know what? Before I uh, before I make these changes, um, I will actually save this file so I can post it as a sample. Save it as, and we're just going to name it main one or zero. Okay, good. So now I will just go back to my original file and keep making those changes. This is my original file. And so back again to the idea that maybe instead of giving house a pointer to the room, maybe I can have room as part of the house. No pointer. The, the house includes the room. OK. Uh, so most likely, I no longer need any pointers to any rooms. Because now I want this constructor for the house to actually construct the uh, uh, construct the room uh, immediately and for that what I can do is I can say uh, give me the area room area okay area like that and then of course I can then initialize the room right there's no pointer to room anymore but this object room can be initialized with this uh, uh, room area uh, uh, double value so what I just did is that I changed the house to include the room, okay? And the room still has the same constructor. It hasn't changed at all, uh, right? So the constructor is expecting a double value to populate its member variable inside the room. Uh, and so I decided that now the house uh, can be constructed uh, with the room uh, containing the room, and therefore, I'm not going to be constructing the, this room anymore. Instead, I will just say uh, house and specify the this area that I'm I'm using to pass it to construct this single room. Okay, so um, if I build this, uh, 
right? Again, it doesn't interact uh, or anything with the user, but it demonstrates another possibility, another type of association between the house and the room. Let me demonstrate it on the diagram. So let's, uh, let's just uh, clean this up and just say that the first thing that we talked about was an association. Uh, association, basically two classes, class A and class B, know about each other like this, like class A uh, knows about class B, because most likely it contains a pointer to class B. However, if you look at the physical memory layout of all of this, uh, the instance of class B, which is like room, let me just try to say a room, right? A room was created first, and it, cre and it contained this uh, area inside, right? Uh, basically, the double value that stores the, um, the area. And then we constructed the house. And that was another object, but the constructor took pointer to, to the room object, and initially it was pointing to this. So this is what we call association. This time what we have is that the room is actually included in the house. In that case, we say that this type of relationship is composition. Composition. We still have two classes, like house and room, or A and B. Let me use house, H, and room, R, okay? If you notice, they're still separate classes. Class room is declared, class house is also declared. Obviously, uh, house heavily depends on room this time because um, everything that room has, uh, now house includes as a component. So, uh, we will show this type of association, again, with, uh, with an arrow because house contains the room, but what gets added to this is uh, this uh, rhombus like this, which is filled, like it's also called a filled uh, diamond symbol, which, uh, which indicates that house is the whole and room is the part. And basically now house is physically made up of parts and room is one of these parts. Now. This is uh, what, what we demonstrated this, uh, uh, this, uh, when we talked about this association uh, situation, right? This is a design time. We have two classes, class A and B. Uh, most likely A has pointer to B, and this is what is happening in memory. Now with composition, what happens in memory is that this house now constructed as an object, right? Because this is the only thing that we construct, by the way, right here in main, uh, in main driver program, we just say, let's create a house. But what happens is that because room is now made the part of the house, so now the room is actually constructed inside this house. And the constructor of the house, right, the constructor of the house object takes care of the construction of the room. It says, oh, as soon as the house is constructed, the room is going to be constructed, and we will provide enough information that the room constructor needs to be able to execute. Because the room has the constructor, which is, is expecting the, the area. And we provide all of this on this initializer list. Okay? So this is, you can see that this, this is a very weak type of association. The, the, what we call association is, is a pretty weak relationship. Whereas this relationship is much stronger, right? This is a stronger relationship. Why? Because life cycles of the room and the house are very closely related. As soon as house is created, right? As soon as we create an instance of the house like this, a room is immediately constructed as well. And as soon as this house is destroyed and goes out of scope, a room also goes out of scope. So usually at design time, this composition type of relationship with this black diamond right here is usually referred to as uh, basically in, or indicates that the life cycles, the lifespan of both objects 
uh, house and room are absolutely the same. As soon as the house is created, the room is created. As soon as the house is destroyed, the room is destroyed. Okay, and so that's that's the the this situation is called composition.